Uh, my name is Dougray Scott and I'm playing Stuart, St. John. It was, it's a character that you can play completely truthfully uh, for what you think, what, you know, the audience are expected to believe, i.e. that he's innocent and, and he's, a, you know, he's a victim in this and he's lost his wife and you don't lose any of the, the resonance because I think that the audience shouldn't think for a, a second that he's got anything to do with it. Uh, and that's what I find interesting about Stuart is that, you know, he seems like a normal guy, but I think that he's caught between a rock and a hard place. I think he does love his wife, but, you know, he values his life more than he values the love for his wife. And he wants to, you know, he doesn't want his businesses. He, he made a bad deal and he has to get out of a hole. And if he doesn't come up with the money, then, you know, he's dead. It's very, very European way of filming. I mean, it's, how do you explain a European way? That he shoots and he shoots and he shoots and he shoots and he feels that every single angle he's, he's, he's filming is going to be used in some sort of small way in the, in the scene. With some directors, you get the feeling that they're shooting to cover themselves because they're not sure how, and they'll work it out in the editing suite. And that's fine, that's a great way to shoot. This is different. He, I think he knows exactly what he's going to use. Uh, and, you know, he'll shoot a lot. He does a lot of scenes. A couple of times. A really lovely guy. Very good. Lovely. And a fantastic actor. So it's, it's been great. He's, he's a terrific director, you know. He's, uh, and, and that's a producer, but he understands the genre incredibly well. You know, I've worked with him before and he is, you know, incredibly knowledgeable and very relaxed and uh, in this, this whole world. And so I think that he's got a world, a world of experience and he knows what works and he knows what doesn't work. And um, he obviously has a lot of faith and trust in Olivier, especially after taking two. And so, you know, that experience is incredibly helpful, I think, yeah. He's a lovely guy, a wonderful guy, and um, yeah, I love his acting as well. I mean, The Butler, I thought, was was one of my favourite films of last year, and he is such a wonderful actor. He's very alive in the scene, you know? He's very there. And, uh, you know, we've had a great time doing our scenes together. She's, you know, she's a very sweet girl and she's, you know, she's been involved, she's been obviously involved in the, the, the first one and, and uh, for her it's obviously, you know, because every taken I think has been very different. Hey Lisa here with a cool movie fact. James Cameron's 2009 smash hit Avatar is one of the highest grossing films of all time and the film which single-handedly brought 3D back to mainstream cinema. But did you know that James Cameron actually originally planned for a 1999 release? The special effects he wanted increased the budget to 400 million, which at the time was pretty high, so it was shelled for eight years. This kind of explains his hiatus from filmmaking for so long. Imagine what it would have looked like if it was made 10 years previously. Hmm. Download our Filmies Now app, available for both Android and iOS.